Good afternoon. Let's do some little painting. Just ordered a bunch of these <clears throat> blank crankbaits. Crankbait, jerkbait, whatever you call it. Did a few poppers the other day. I think these ones came out pretty nice. Little topwater spooks. I dipped them in epoxy once. Uh, but I gotta do some more. Do another coat of epoxy on them, put them on the spinner, leave them for a couple hours. I think they came out pretty nice. This is my first try. Can only get better, as they say. A little black and green action. Nice and shiny. These ones are pretty sweet. I like them. This is the one I'm currently working on. A little black and gold jerk bait. They're turning out pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and try to add some scales. Add some scales to this one. Went to Walmart the other day. Bought this little fishnet stuff kind of dip the bait fish out of your fish tank with. Just lay this over the top. I want to say thank you to anybody who's uh, made videos on YouTube. All of your videos helped out tremendously. Tips and tricks. Making life a lot easier nowadays having having YouTube to be able to just check out a quick video instead of figuring it out on your own a lot of people have been painting lures for decades so coming up with these these little tricks especially this fishnet for scales it works so nice very simple a couple clips kinda wanna get it tight on the body Hold the net over. Three or four clips on there. Hold it down nice and tight. And then you're ready for spraying. There we go. Clip down like that. Go ahead and put it in the jig. Yeah, just like that, you're ready to go. Hold on, let me turn on some light. There we go. See it a little bit better now. So this one's black and gold. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put on just black. Make the scale stand out. Currently running this Master Professional Master Airbrush. It's the G22. It's not not the greatest, but it's a nice beginner brush. And the cool thing, local Michaels started carrying acrylic ink. Stuff's great. Some of the colors don't work that great. And watering them down, trying to get the, the thickness just right. The good thing is, you only need a couple drops. Stuff will last a long time. As you can hear, this compressor is crazy quiet. It's like perfect for the garage.
getting these water bubbles in here down here in Florida. It's a little humid. But once you clear them out, it works fine. spraying for about an hour already so these things are gonna they might continue to get water drop with them. out. Just been using water. Water and 70% alcohol. It's working pretty good. If you have any better tips on cleaning this out better for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. But water, rubbing alcohol, it's working great. Hey, how you doing? Hope you're having a great day. If you're just joining me, I'm doing a little custom paint on a black and gold jerk bait. Just added some fish netting for scales. I'm gonna pull this fish net off real quick. Expose the scales, see what see what they look like, see how it came out. inside the cup. Alright. Pull these clips off. See how it came out? Doesn't look like I got it tight enough. But the uh, scales are definitely there. Came out decent. Subtle little scales on top. Got to keep practicing. This is like my, I don't know, maybe 10th lure that I've tried. And I just got this, this whole bag. So I got plenty of stuff to practice on. Didn't come out too bad. Scales are a little messy. I probably didn't pull the netting tight enough. But hey, I know this thing will still catch fish. So. Stick it over here on the drying rack. Let me show you this other one I did this morning. It came out pretty good.
guy did a little chameleon green purple black scales really like this one a lot gotta hit it up in a few places with some more purple make sure it comes out right you know it's fun fun little hobby I know these lures are gonna catch fish like I said so anything anything I can do to make these things a little bit a little bit cooler a little bit brighter bright lures like to catch fish even natural colors so kind of doing a mixture of both doing natural black and gold bright greens got some pink I like pink lures did a set this lure down did a menhaden yesterday little sepia on top chrome on the side that sepia really really pops on, around that chrome a little red up on the nose red eyes and I got a whole assortment of different color 3d eyes it's gonna be gonna be a pretty sweet topwater lure to use snook trout you know any any kind of big saltwater fish I love to eat that bad boy Pinks and purples. These pinks and purples are my favorite. Pink and purple. Got to get that white belly taken care of. But this is just learning, and I love, I love any any kind of hobby that I get to learn and apply some skill to. Let's see what's next. Let's get another. Another lure up on the jig. It's goofy. The, the bag of lures that I ordered, the eyes are supposed to be stuck to the, the piece of paper. And here's all these cheap eyes that the thing came with, and they fell off and they're stuck all inside the bag, all over the lures. Lures here and there, they need a little bit of little bit of work. Right inside the lip here, they got some some extra extra plastic. Too easy to take care of. Let's see. Well, I did two jerk baits. Let me go back and do a. Let me do another top water lure. Got all these top water lure blanks. Still, I'll go ahead and knock one of these bad boys out. Good thing is, if you're just getting into lore painting yourself, they're really cheap. I got a bag of 20 for 20 bucks, so a dollar a lore. And I got this bag of 25 jerk baits in this thing. I think this was 15 bucks can't beat that make your own lures cheaper than buying them although the airbrush and the paints are what's expensive the kit the airbrush kit was only a hundred bucks which isn't too bad if you're not strapped for money but the paints the paints get a little bit expensive they're anywhere from seven to ten dollars for one and some of them don't spray very well like this is a killer color I can't I, I want to do an entire lure with some cool other accents with purple or pink blue something like that this this yellow this is a Genesis green Genesis green looks really cool but it doesn't spray that well I don't I don't know why I keep putting them in the cup thinning it with water it still doesn't work that well now I just got this other orange color this one is a uh, flame orange now this thing this will make a lure pop like crazy. I'm gonna give this one a shot. I'll do this top law, top water spook, spook junior, four inch. See what I can get. See how cool this comes out. Give it a good shake. You know, all the good stuff.
probably put some scales on this one when it's done. Picked up another cheap piece of fish net. I think it was like a two or three dollar net at Walmart. Just cut the netting off. Give this stuff a good shake. I already got my white base coat on there. Let's give this a try. Eight drops of flame orange. Yeah, this stuff's pretty nice. One tip that I learned was to continuously hold the air, and since this is a double action brush, spray the air and work work it back nice and easy till you find the consistency, the, the, the amount of paint that you want to come out. And then always return the nozzle. This, you know, make sure the needle comes back out so you blow extra, extra paint off the needle. If you don't, you're going to get tip drying and then you're going to start getting sporadic paint coming out. So, Keep holding the air on and then pull slowly back until you get that, that consistency that you like. Oh yeah, that's a nice color. Flame orange looks pretty sweet on here. No professional, I'm just a beginner. Said I painted about 15 lures, but it's fun, it's all learning experience. And just a couple drops of paint inside this cup really goes a long way. Thing I keep forgetting to do is getting up inside the eyes and getting in the little the little pockets the little grooves in the lure Let's see. I keep forgetting to get inside here where the gills are and stuff like that so I got to go back over a couple times Overall, this is like, this is really fun. I enjoy doing this. It's therapeutic. is starting to pop now. The heavier it gets, the thicker the paint gets, it starts getting real bright, real sexy. Do six drops this time. Definitely better to put less paint in there than you need. Don't want to keep rinsing it out and wasting it. I got my compressor set at 30 psi. This thing goes up to 58, like most most airbrush compressors. 
30 is working, working beautifully. looking all right I think the uh, I needed to redo the white background to get the orange to pop a little bit better but it's looking okay these colors look really good inside of the jar and when you spray them on some of them don't really look as, as bright as they as you would think this orange is so it's so bright inside the jar when you spray it on the lower and it kind of dulls out but the epoxy will probably make that pop This one here, specifically, was really neat before I painted it, and before I epoxied it. And as soon as I epoxied it, it just made it really, really pop. Those red eyes, just a little custom tiger, tiger striping. I didn't do anything crazy about it. I think it came out pretty neat. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. starting to pop now the more coats I get on this the orange is really coming out it looks it's looking a lot better five more drops just keep it keep it light I don't want the paint to, to blotch up on me or to run Kind of looks more like a, a hunting tool than it does a fishing lure. Maybe I can turn this into some tiger strike. Living out here in the middle of Florida, I've been doing a lot of bass fishing. I grew up salt water, not so much uh, fresh water, but now living in the middle of Florida, that's all there is is lakes around me, lakes and rivers. So. These things will definitely work for bass too. I'm not really worried about it. coming out now. That orange is finally starting to pop. There's the original white. Nice and glossy. It's starting to pop. I like it. I dig it. Let me know. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. Whatever it is, I'm having fun as hell. Whether these are the best looking lures or the worst looking lures in the world, I don't really care. I'm having fun doing it. Pretty fun. Let me clean this brush out. 
slide this bad boy over here. One thing I did notice about this airbrush is it doesn't have a polished needle inside of it, and the polished needle seems to go a lot better. This one's kind of got this uh, milled finish. Just got a little tiny bit of tip drying. I've been spraying, like I said, for about an hour. Let me clean this thing off. Pretty simple design. Unscrew the back. Take off this keeper nut. And then you can just nice and easily pull the needle out. Clean some of this cuck up paint off of here. That's all I've been doing. A little rubbing alcohol. Spray it on there. Take my needle nice and gently. Just rotate it. Pull it back towards me. Last thing I want to do is damage this needle. You know, then I gotta get another one. I won't be able to do any painting if I don't have anything on the needle. mess up this needle. There we go. Nice and easy. Just clean the whole thing off. Spin it. Pull it back towards me. If I'm doing this wrong, if you know what the heck you're doing, please let me know. But this works. I'm not bending the needle or nothing like that. Get that little tiny bit of paint off the tip. Uh, set the needle down over here. And just get this little, little tip on the front of the gun. A little bit of dried paint right there on the tip, which seems to be normal. Nice and easy. Get that cup out. I grew up doing welding, so this kind of reminds me of like a tungsten tungsten rod. You got to be really delicate with so you don't bend it or break it. Slide that needle back inside. Take this retain, retaining nut, screw it back on there, make sure it's a little finger tight. Nice and simple to clean. Pull the needle back, screw that, that tip back on there, and that's it. Ready to go. Nice and clean. All this humidity I've been having to blow out some of the extra extra water. This machine does come with a it has a water filter on it right before the hose, but I don't know. This compressor's good. Seems like it's good, but I've been having a little bit of issue with that. Back on there. Fire her up. Lower the PSI. Back down to 30. Nice and easy. And then in the meantime, that orange basically dried all the way. It's a cool thing about airbrush. Stuff dries almost immediately. Well, these topwater spooks, like this other one over here, these couple I've already done. And I've got another one with, with a neat little design on it, just a homemade design with some purple dragonfly paint. They call that dragonfly. 
put some silver eyes up in there. This one, this one pops. I think that one looks pretty good. Let me see what else we got over here. That was some custom old favorites. White and gold, gold eyes. This one always, I know this definitely catches fish like crazy. You can just throw one of these clear spooks in the water and half the time just the sound of them will attract fish. Here's another, another neat little pattern I came up with. Green head, silver eyes, purple body, and then some gold gold stripes. Let me know what you think of that one. And these things are going to be up for sale if anybody anybody wants to buy any of them, give them a try. I'll sell them to you for cheap. Excuse me. Eight bucks or something like that. Eight or nine dollars. I'm not looking to rip anybody off. I just want someone to appreciate my work. And go catch fish. Have fun. Yeah, this orange came out okay. It's not bad. We'll go ahead and do the belly. Neighbors that have electric mowers. It's pretty awesome. It's really quiet. You ain't got to worry about anything. I can be in here streaming, painting, playing music, whatever. I don't have to have this loud mower, even though I've got a loud mower. <laughs> uh, let's see, what color? I got an orange body. Purple? Purple and orange? What do you think? If you're just joining me, check it out. I think purple and orange, but I'm not too sure. Maybe blue. Got this ultramarine dark blue. Also got more of a pearlescent blue. Blue fluorescent. Yeah. Let's do some fluorescent blue on the bottom. See how it turns out. I think this was one of the colors that I was having a problem with spraying. I don't know why. These things come pre-ready to spray. They're super thin. But some of them just don't spray really well through this nozzle. I don't understand it. I don't want to thin them too much with water. I don't want to. I don't know. I don't know if it ruins the color. Do six drops of this guy. Let's see how it turns out. Seems like it's spraying okay now. starts running like crazy. I don't get it. Not spraying that hard.
pretty neat so far. Orange and blue. This is looking pretty sweet. I think I'm going to call this one the Florida Sunrise. That's looking pretty, pretty hot. Need some more paint. What's up? How you doing? Thank you for joining me. Airbrushing four inch topwater spook right now. Hope you're doing okay today. Hope you're doing well. Like Tiger, like Austin Power said, tight like Tiger. Yes, yes, that is looking very nice. By the way, did I mention I like turtles? It's a beautiful day out here in the park. Jonathan, that little zombie over here. Hey, Jonathan. Jonathan, tell me what you like. I like turtles. Okay, back to you. I never thought orange and blue would look that cool on a lure, but it actually came out pretty nice. I'm, I'm excited about it. Little Florida sunrise. Fluorescent blue and flame orange. That came out pretty tight. Yeah. That came out pretty freaking nice. I like it. Let that dry for a little. I don't know. I think I should add some 
think I'm going to add some scales to that one. What do you think? I think I'm going to add scales. Just something different. I haven't put scales on a top water plug yet, so. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. I have the best ideas. Woo! Alright. That's gonna have to dry for a little bit before she's ready. This one. This one I did this morning. I really, I really think this one came out pretty, pretty awesome. Those scales just, that's going to be a killer. That's going to be a killer. Let me say it again. That's going to be a killer. Some of this and some of that. By the way, don't, uh, don't ever get in the nicotine. Because it sucks. I was never in the nicotine, never smoked, nothing, and somebody introduced these damn on pouches to me. I was like, hooked, hooked. Let me flip this guy over. Take it off the jig, see what we got. Yeah, this came out pretty cool. Some good silver eyes on there. Maybe gold. I'm not sure. The fluorescent blue looks looks really nice. I think the reason why it wasn't spraying properly is because I had a dirty brush. You know what they say when you got a dirty brush. Great paint the way it should. My next upgrade is definitely going to be first thing is going to be a more expensive brush. I don't know, one of them hundred dollar jobbies. See if it makes a difference, or if it's just me. I don't know. This is the clear coat epoxy that I would been using I've only used it on a couple lures I built myself a custom turner built that yesterday bought a nine dollar nine dollar motor it rotates five to six times per minute bought that off of Amazon had a spare wood dowel glued some clips on and uh, looks like it's gonna work good See, I kind of get to this part with the lure. I like it the way it is, and I kind of want to leave it like that. But I also want to add more to it. I'm not too sure. I think it looks awesome like this, and it's gonna, I know it's going to catch fish. So. I don't know. What do you think I should do? think I should leave it like this? I don't know what to do. But I think that's about it for the video. I'm going to wrap this up, let this dry for a while. I've got four or five lures that I need to epoxy and get them on the spinning rack. And that's going to be it. Thank you for joining me. I'll catch you next time. Later.